Hello Roguemates, Cerebro here from roguelites.com and we're back with more news from all around the roguelite world and the news starts right now! Starting us off this week is a three-part news coming from Despot's game. The first news is that Confa Games has announced that after almost a year in early access, the game is gearing up for its full launch on September 15th. The second news is that they also plan on releasing a new DLC called Challenges, where the players have 20 missions to complete, but everything is predetermined which means you'll have to rely on tactics instead of luck. The DLC will also release on the same date as the full launch, but players who own the game beforehand will get the DLC absolutely free. Lastly, this news may be a little late, but Confa also announced that strategy roguelite Despotism 3K was free until August 7th. All in all, it's been a huge month for Despot's game and Confa games in general. Welcome, welcome. Popular rhythm-based roguelite Crypt of the Necro Dancer has recently released their latest DLC. Nicknamed Synchrony, it includes new characters like the Zwei Hander wielding Clarinetta, the enemy possessing Lantern wielding Chanter, and Suzu, who wields the Lance of Courage. Also included in the DLC is online multiplayer, where you can play to up to 8 players at once, both in co-op and versus modes, using the rollback netcode architecture for smoother online play. You can also have players in both local and online at the same time. There are other game-changing updates including in-game lobbies, spectator mode, crossplay support, and tons of new items, enemies, traps, shrines, game modes, and other gameplay features. Suffice to say, Brace Yourself Games went all out with this DLC. Of the Necrodancer. Creature Cauldron has also announced the release of their first content update for the reverse bullet hell roguelite Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. The biggest story of the update is the addition of a new Spirit Hunter in Hugo, the Treasure Genie with a unique health mechanic and a focus on gaining gold. The issue most players had with the game is that it was too grindy, and the devs have updated the game to be less so. And no update will be complete without bug fixes, balance patches, and quality of life updates. As cleaners, we've got one objective. Turtle Rock Studios has announced the release date for their upcoming second expansion to popular co-op FPS roguelite Back for Blood. Coming on August 30 is the Children of the Worm expansion, which includes a new character in Prophet Dan, a new campaign story, new enemies, and exclusive character and weapon skins. The next update comes from Alina of the Arena. As a primer before their August 10 full game release, Phoenix has released their original soundtrack for the game. It's not for free, but if you enjoy Alina's music, then this is your opportunity to get a copy of it. This next one comes from one of the biggest roguelite games, or any game for that matter, of all time, Dead Souls. Motion Twin and Evil Empire has released their 30th, and yes, you heard that right, it's Dead Cells 30th update. Nicknamed Enter the Panchaku, the update is spearheaded by the new weapon Panchaku and the new Flamehead Bobby outfit, as well as a game-wide rebalancing of weapons and items, the massive rework of the legendary system, and probably the most game-breaking change of all, the ability for you to pet your pets. They have also laid out their roadmap for the upcoming months, and all I can say is that it's always amazing that the game is still going strong years after its release. Deck builder Pachinko Roguelite Peglin has also announced its participation in the Tiny Teams 2022 festival. They've also just released a content update on their experimental branch which contains a new boss, a new mini boss, custom loadouts, and numerous balance changes and bug fixes. Developer Red Nexus Games targets the latest content update to be rolled out to the main branch in time before the aforementioned Tiny Teams 2022 festival. This next bit of unfortunate news comes from the popular third-person action roguelite Shifu. Their Instagram page seemed to have been hacked this past week, but the good news is that it was restored the same day, so a tiny hiccup there but fortunately didn't do any damage.
This last news comes from Warhammer Vermintide 2. Developer Fatshark has announced that the VT modded community Discord is organizing a tournament. Alongside Deathwish and Onslaught, this tournament will be played with a class balance rebalance mod, and the prizes include 4 premium cosmetics of the winning player's choosing, t-shirts, eternal serpent portrait frames, and hoodies. The tournament will take place on August 13-14, to and you can watch it all unfold on Ishka's Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And that concludes the list of notable news for this week. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. Or if you want to talk about the games listed on this video or other roguelike games, you can also visit our Discord server. If you'd like to support our channel and website, check out our Patreon channel. Your support will be rewarded by having your name added to the Patreon list at the end of our videos and possibly on the roguelites.com Hall of Fame as well. All notable links are on the description below. You can also like, subscribe, and share this video as other means of support, as well as hitting that notification bell button so you wouldn't miss any of our future videos. We sincerely appreciate all kinds of support and we will do our best to make it worth your while. This is Cerebro from roguelites.com and I'll see you on the next one.